With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. E1 and E2 vector are electric field at axial point and equatorial point of an electric dipole. Then here E1 dot E2 dot product is being asked in the question. So we can say here, suppose this is our electric dipole and we can say here that electric field at axial point here we can say axial point at this point will be in the direction of dipole moment that is here if dipole moment here is along plus x axis so electric field at this position will be along the let's say dipole moment so we can say here axial point electric field is even vector so this here is even vector which is equal to we can say here that electric field has two components at any point radial component and tangential component radial component is 2 k b cos theta divided by we have here as r cube and tangential component here is k p sin theta divided by we have here as r cube so at axial point we can say theta is 0 so theta is 0 means component sin 0 will be 0 and radial component will be 2 kp by r cube. So this E1 here is our 2 kp by r cube. Next here coming to the axial point. We can say here at this axial point we can say electric field is E2 which here we can say is anti parallel to the dipole moment and this here theta is 90 degree. So cos 90 will be 0 therefore we can say here the radial component part will be 0 and the tangential component part here will be kp by r cube which will be the net electric field which is equal to e2 vector hence we can say here e1 vector dot e2 vector when we let's say make dot product e1 dot e2 so this here comes out to be e1 vector and e2 vector are anti parallel to each other so this comes as 2 kp divided by r cube into the e2 vector magnitude is our kp divided by r cube and angle here between both of them is let's say 180 so we can say cos 180 is minus 1 hence this overall product comes to be negative hence amongst the four option we can say here this is our e1 dot e2 as less than 0 and in fourth option it says e1 vector plus e2 vector is 0 vector whereas as we can see here e1 vector and e2 vector when added up so this comes out to be let's say one is plus i cap and other is minus i cap so on adding this comes as kp divided by r cube plus i cap so it is not zero so option four is not correct hence we can say correct option is option number three hence three is the correct answer so three is our answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today